drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos welcome back and thanks for joining me in my mandarin lesson series in this lesson we continue to expand our vocabulary on polite words today i will show you the words that you can use when you are having a brief interactions with people so basically it's a series of thank you you're welcome see you etc so let's get started the first one is thank you in chinese it is xie xie. so let's break it down it's made of the two identical word xie so this one in this context it means thanks and this is a pinyin and when it's combined together the second words is without any tone so you just pronounce it in a soft and light manner this is the radical and the arrangement is horizontal so it consists of three components and it's laid out in a horizontal fashion and this is how I write xie, one, two, one stroke, three, four, five, one stroke again, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, I admit it looks a bit ugly, but this illustrates my point. The sequence of writing the strokes of C. Okay, next one. Many thanks. Duo xie. Okay, if you still remember, this is what we learned in the last slide, and it means thanks. So, duo means many, and here's the pinyin. The radical is this one, and if you notice, this word is made of two identical radicals and so you can see that the arrangement is vertical it's just two radicals stack on each other so let's see how i write this character so one two three four five six six strokes for the word door Okay, let's go to the next one. You're welcome. So, if people say to you, thank you, you can say, 别客气, which means, you're welcome. Okay, so the three words here are new words. So, let's start with the first one. 别 means don't. Okay, so if you want to prohibit someone from doing things, you can use bie and this is the pinyin and this is the radical the one on the right side and the arrangement is horizontal consists of the two components here okay watch how I write this one two three four five six seven seven stroke for this one okay the next one is k guest okay i'll explain why we use this word here later this is a pinyin and radical is this one as you have seen before it's like a roof so you can imagine that there's a person under your roof so it's regarded as a guest okay the arrangement is vertical with two components here and here's how I write it one two three four five six seven eight nine nine strokes okay so this is the word ke. and then finally qi okay which means gas air smell which sounds quite weird 
to be used in your welcome here but I'll explain it later and the pinyin is here qi okay and the whole word is the radical and the arrangement is simple okay and here's how I write it one two three four okay one stroke at the fourth stroke okay so now I explain why you are welcome in Chinese Bie Ke Qi has don't guest and air smell in it. Ke Qi is a way of saying being guest like. So being guest like means you are very polite, you are seeing people as outsider. So if I ask you to be Bie Ke Qi, which means don't be so guest like okay we are like a family so don't be so polite don't say thank you so be a courtesy okay so hope that explains and then the next one is tuibuqi. it means sorry and the word you may not know is the first and the last one so tui means face or in another context it's correct but in this context it is face and i'll explain why this is used in our way of saying sorry okay and this is the pinyin tui okay and the radical is the component on the left side and the arrangement is horizontal with this radical here and this one here okay so this is how i write Three, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is three. And then this one is qi. Okay, I'm not putting any meaning here because it is just used in this context which do not hold much meaning here okay and the radical is this one here okay you learn more about this word later and then the arrangement is enclosure because this word is wrapping up this word here okay so watch how i write t one two three four five Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay? And you might want to notice that this corner here, this stroke here, does not exceed here. Okay? It should not exceed this line here. Okay? So this is T. Okay, now I'll explain why sorry contains the word face and no sorry in chinese is like i can't face you i made a mistake and i can't face you so i'm sorry for that that's chinese way of saying sorry you can use it as excuse me it also works okay this is See you. Zai jian. Zai, it means again. And this is the pinyin. And the radical is what is enclosing here. The arrangement is simple. And this is how I write it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you want to notice this stroke here. It does not exceed this line here. So this is zai again. Okay. Xian is C. Si. So together with zai jian is see you again. So the radical is this one, the whole word itself. The arrangement is simple. Okay, so this is how I write it. One, two, three and four 
Okay, so this is the word 见. And please is 请. So if you are using just one word, it is ushering people into one room. It's like the way of saying after you. It can also be used before you ask somebody to pass you something. So it is just as the same as you use please in English. This is the pinyin qing. The radical is what's on the left here, the small word here. Okay, this is commonly used in speech acts as well. So in the future, you'll see quite a lot of this radical appearing in other characters. Okay, and it's horizontal arrangement made of two components here. So let's see how I write this word. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, this is the word ting. The next one. Okay. This is used before asking a question. 请问. So for example, you want to ask, where is the clinic? How can I get to the bus station? Before asking a question in Chinese, it is polite to say 请问. Okay, just to be polite. So 请, you have learned, it is please. Okay, one is ask. And this is the pinyin, and this is the radical. This word is actually means door, and it is used quite often in other words as well. You'll see more of this in the future. The arrangement is enclosure. So you can see this is wrapping this word here. So it forms an enclosure from three sides. Okay, this is how I write one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see I'm writing from outside. So in these two lessons, you have learned quite a lot of vocabulary, quite a lot of new words, but that's basically almost all of the polite words that we use in Chinese. Okay, so this is just a quick recap of the words that you have learned. You might want to use this slide as your refresher. Give yourself a test if you have understood what this whole group of words means. If you don't, I would recommend you to go back to the previous lesson and learn what you have forgotten. So in the end, you should be able to understand the meaning, how to read, how to write, how it is spoken when you encounter these words. These are all the phrases that you have learned in these two lessons. So by looking at these words, you should be able to recall how to say it in Chinese. Okay, again, you can look at these English words and come up with the Chinese counterpart of these English words. Good luck in your endeavor in memorizing these words and their meaning. Okay. In the next lesson, you'll do some exercises on the vocabulary you have just learned in the last two lessons to test if you have really understood these polite words before you move on to the next series of lesson. Okay, so have a revision first, then I will see you in the next lesson. 谢谢。再见。